Ladies and gentlemen, I am DJ Jamlin, and this is your starting grid for the 106th running of the Indianapolis 500. Starting on row number one, the fastest row one in the race's history, Scott Dixon securing the pole for this race, followed by Alex Palau, last year's runner-up, and Renes VK, who has been showing speed all week and all month of May in his Ed Carpenter Chevy. Row number two, speaking of Ed Carpenter racing, the man himself, Ed Carpenter, starting fourth. Marcus Erickson already two IndyCar wins under his belt, not one on an oval as of yet. And Tony Kanaan in one of his lone races of the season, starting sixth here at the Indy 500. Row number three, full of F1 experience, both Errol McLaren cars, Tata Award, and Felix Rosenquist starts sixth and seventh. Award finished fourth here last year. And Romain Grosjean making his first appearance in the Indianapolis 500 after not racing in it last year. Row number four, the most experienced in the grid. As we start with Takuma Sato, who had a close call in qualifying on Saturday, just tapping the wall at 230 miles an hour. The 2018 winner, of the Indianapolis 500, Will Power, and seven-time NASCAR champion Jimmy Johnson making his first attempt at the Indy 500. Row five for the Indy 500, starting with Simon Paginot, who finished third here last year, 2011 runner-up J.R. Hildebrand, and Connor Daly, who led the most laps here last year before and being involved in the Graham Rahal incident that not only resulted in a wing change, but also affected his race. Row six, the All-American row for the Indy 500, starting with rookie Dave Malukas for Dale Corn Racing. Joseph Newgarden in the middle, and Santino Ferrucci, who did an outstanding job earlier this season filling in for Jack Harvey at Texas. Row seven for the Indy 500, including some F1 experience with Callum Eilat, currently for Juco's Hollinger Racing. Last time this team raced in the Indy 500, they got in with Kyle Kaiser bumping out Fernando Alonso. Alongside him, Alex Rossi, who's been plagued with bad luck at this race, and Graham Rahal, who crashed out last year. Row seven, we have Sage Karam, who ended up fighting his way through the field to finish eighth last year. Marco Andretti, who is in his one-off race for the season. And Devin DeFrancesco looking to be the first Canadian to win the Indy 500 since Jock Villeneuve. A star-studded row nine, which you could possibly make a case for the front row. Colton Herta, who had an engine problem while qualifying on Saturday. Scott McLaughlin, who had a terrible run in qualifying. And the defending Indy 500 winner, Elio Castroneves, He's gonna defend his title deep in the field for this race. Row 10 with two AJ Fort cards. Rookie Kyle Kirkwood. Also Dalton Kellett, who ended up being the first victim of a crash in the month of May when he crashed his car in practice on Monday. The team was able to make repairs to it and the original car is still intact. In the round out row 10, 2015 winner of the Indy 500, Juan Pablo Montoya. In row 11 for the Indy 500, two Andretti carts, Christian Lungard only in his second oval race. Jack Harvey, who's had problems finding speed all month of May, and he had engine problems himself on Monday, and Stefan Wilson being the first provisional starter in the Indy 500 since 2017. And there is your field for the 106th running of the Indianapolis 500 this Sunday, May 29th, 